Hello, good morning, and welcome to episode 16, I believe it's 16, of Nebula Quest. I am Noden, your host, as always. So, as we head off towards that beautiful nebula right there, um, we can recap on Space Car Bingo. We have been on our way. We haven't found anything for a while, let's be honest. Um, but what is Space Car Bingo? Space Car Bingo is our vehicle to get you into the game. Yes, it's bingo. It's like car bingo from when you were a kid we find things in the galaxy and we check them off with little stamps of justice and um, for each line that we complete in a space car bingo with our stamps of justice we will be giving away one copy of this wonderful game Elite Dangerous so you too can come and explore the Milky Way galaxy and who wouldn't want to do that? It's amazing out here, and this game is fantastic and beautiful, and there is so many great things to discover in it. Um, so, yeah, last time we left off, we slept rough, but we left off, we were talking about the many um, early access games that I have in my Steam library, and um, sort of what their current state is, or, and what, I don't know, what, what they are and what they are to me, um, basically is what it is, we're gonna need a station fairly soon, we need to get out of this Hades sector, man, or hey, hey, hi, hi, Hades, um, yeah, I'd like, a, I'd like an actual star system one of these days, is what I'd like. Um, and so we left off, where did we live, leave off of the last one? I don't remember. Um, we were going to, oops, I just did, I did something bad. There we go. Seamless transition. Did something horrible there. Um, just, oh, I gotta do it again too, damn it. One second. There we go. My list. My list was not on the screen. Not particularly helpful when you're trying to talk. Uh, but where we left off was actually, uh, I was about to start talking, I think I just finished talking about Kerbal Space Program, and we were about to start talking about Medieval Engineers. So Medieval Engineers is uh, from the makers of Space Engineers, also on this list, but it is a pretty fun game. Very, very, very new. Um, like... Like, very Friendship new. I think, like, early March it came out, kind of a thing. So it's less than a month old. That's, that's pretty, isn't it? A little nebula out there? Oh, I'm gonna sneeze in a second here, and it's gonna be horrible. Um, I'm still quite sick before I continue on. <clears throat> you can probably hear it in my voice. I'm feeling quite a bit better, but, um, it's very congested in the whole facial area, so a lot of sneezing, a lot of snot. So much snot, you wouldn't believe it. Um, oh, this looks like a Tori star. Let's get the hell out of its way. And we'll do a dubstep scanner on our way. Um, wow. Many new objects. Uh, so Medieval Engineers. So, um, it is a, a builder. I'm assuming that it will eventually it will be a, um, uh, like a sort of a survival -y type game in the way that Space Engineers currently is, so it'll be a resource gathering, construction, um, kind of, kind of thing, um, which is pretty, which is cool by me, um, it's not, it, it doesn't seem like it's going to be as much of a, um, uh, survival thing where you're not, I don't think you're gonna have as many, like, you know, food survival checks or, um, I'm betting that anything we find around here is just going to be early, yeah, junk like this. Um, you know, I'll slow that right down, too. Um, <clears throat> uh, like, you're not going to have food and water or temperature or things to worry about. You'll probably have, like, a general health thing where you'll have to, like, I don't know, eat, like, you know, wheat or something like that to just regain your general health. Um, but I think for the most part it will be just about gathering resources to build castles and catapults and then wage war against your friends. Um, it's currently only in single player, I believe, I should say. Uh, but there is multiplayer planned for it. Um, it's part of a grander scope that these the creators of both Medieval and Space Engineers have. Um, as I understand it from hearing some uh, chats with the devs, um, 
they have they have a game in mind for the future and each one of these games like space engineers and medieval engineers helps develop tech that will eventually go into that so they take everything that they've learned so far with space engineers they put it into medieval engineers they develop their tech a little bit more with a little bit more of the things that they want to do in their actual final game and then eventually they take all of this tech and they put it into the next step uh, towards that process so it's, and it's all pretty cool um, and they're and they're pretty fun games they're great fun to play you've seen us uh, Pat and I play space engineers and this is going to be exactly the same only a derpier because you're in medieval times and the, as we all know medieval times times the it was like aka derp times so that that's in the history books you can just look that up um yeah not really but it's it's good it, it's pretty fun so far I've, I've spent a few hours just trying to figure out how to build like a uh, a trebuchet in there catapults catapults are easy trebuchet is not as easy um but they're good fun um the next game in our list uh, of early access games is MotoGP 14. <laughs> uh, no, it's not early access, but seriously, fix your fucking game. Um, <clears throat> it's not that broken, but uh, and I just like to tease it. You know, that's that's all it is. I just I'd like to make fun of it. Um, yeah, yeah. That was that joke. You know, I alluded to earlier. There was a joke that I was in. That was it. Aren't you glad you waited? I am. Uh, the next game in the list is uh, Planet Explorers. Planet Explorers is sort of like a story-driven survival RPG. It's um, it's got a really fun um, sort of like kids' cartoon art style to it, and it's pretty fun. Um, or I should say, it's got some really fun parts to it. I actually just played it a bit um, again. Um, just the other day, just sort of Friendship like, drive like, because it's been so long since I played it. Pat and I actually tried doing a series on this, um, but it never came to the channel. Uh, we just couldn't figure out how to break it up because it is very grindy. It's got it's got all the same sort of grindy elements that Minecraft do, does. Um, it's got some crafting to it, you know. It's got some quest lines, sort of like you know world of warcraft style go and get me 18 wood kind of quest quest things but um i've been playing it like i said just recently they're doing some going to be doing some overhauls in the ui but a lot of the ui and stuff just seems really clunky and um not great it's just not fantastic so we'll have to see how it actually turns out when it's when all is said and done but um the worst of it is, the game itself, <clears throat> I think, has a lot of potential. It looks really, really nice. Um, it doesn't have a lot of voice acting in it. Like It's all very text-based, which is fantastic. Um, I, I love voice acting, but at the same time, I look for, I do look for games that I can, like, I can do the voice acting for as I'm playing them. So, like, the games that have just, like, text-based encounters are perfect for me. Um, so I was really hoping, like, and I was, like, I was kind of checking it out. I'm like, well, you know, I'm kind of looking for a new series to do, you know, once Alien Isolation wraps up. Like, what am I going to play? And uh, so I'm like, well, maybe I'll see where the, what the state of this Friendship game is in now. And uh, it's just not quite there. But uh, it's pretty... It, it, I think it could be pretty fun, but we'll have to see. that. The UI is, like, a real deal breaker for me at the moment so we'll have to we'll have to see how everything turns out uh, next <clears throat> next one on the list is another very new game uh, which is reign of kings <clears throat> <coughs> mm, sorry sick did I, I did warn you uh, reign of kings also very fun very new again early march like march 3rd or march 5th or something like that uh, it came out whoa i'm a big brown barf um Apparently it is possible to fuel off of these brown dwarfs. I just don't know if I trust myself to do it. Whoa. Ooh. That's a lot. That's a lot of little planets. Um We will we will do it. Rain of Kings, yeah, so it is basically it's rust in medieval times. You can see there's a theme of of <laughs> all these games. Everything was a zombie and now everything's in medieval times. Um so it is rust, but it's in medieval times. Uh, so it's uh, survival, crafting, base building, um, like multiplayer worlds, like where there's like th like 30, 40, 50 people in a, in a world, and um, uh, it's it's pretty fun. It also has a really fun sort of um, 
uh, Game of Thrones game mode um, currently built into it, which kind of where there's like a a king that uh, kind of sex sex no sets <laughs> yes um, that sort of sets the uh, like a tax rate. So everything that you mine. Um, you gain a little bit of a uh, uh, like a little bit of that goes to the king and then the king can be overthrown I don't know what advantages there are to being king or to having a king other than that there just is one um, but uh, the king can be obviously overthrown and it's it's pretty it's pretty interesting and it's a pretty fun game and it's super early and it's super derp it is like like everything Rust was and more as far as derp goes. Um, the one advantage it has currently over Rust is I haven't found, seen any hackers. I haven't played very long, maybe only a couple of hours, and it is very new, but it only took a couple of hours for me to find a bunch of hackers when I played Rust last, so. Um, we'll, we'll have to see, but it's, it's pretty fun. It's It's got a long way before it's like in a particularly like engaging playable state, but it's pretty, you, you get a good couple of hours just mucking around in there right now, so well worth taking a look at, um, or waiting and taking a look at, but certainly worth watching a couple of YouTube videos on. <clears throat> um, yeah, yeah, pretty good. <coughs> <coughs> oh dear me, I took a sip of water here. Oh we? Oh. Mm -hmm. Try to get some of our voice back. Oh my goodness, I was really hoping that it would last longer than this. I was going to do, um, I mean, this is Friday already. Um, I haven't recorded Tales of the Borderlands yet. I was hoping I, my voice would be good enough for today. I'm feeling good enough for it, but apparently it's not, uh, not going to happen. So we'll have to see. Um, next game on the list is Savage Lands. So you've seen this on the, on the channel now. We've played an episode of it, um... It may be a little while before the next episode comes out, um, but uh, it's pretty fun. It's uh, it's like the forest, um, so it's again sort of like a crafty base buildy. Um, there's some bad guys in the off. There's uh, a bunch of um, uh, preformed like villages and structures and things, and uh, basically you get kind of thrown into an area and you've got to survive and figure out where you are and what's going on. And I'm best I'm guessing that there will be some sort of um, overarching storyline to it later on, but I'm going to sneeze. I'm going to do it this time. really am. <coughs> oh. <coughs> oh. <coughs> yes. Um, so yes, I'm guessing there will be a overarching story eventually. It's just not there yet. Um, like I said, the game is this one again is still also very new. A lot of these games are less than a month old, so um, which is impressive. I mean, really, when you think about it, like, oh, this is a game that's come out a month ago, and, and people are out and playing it and uh, monkeying around with it and uh, showing it off. I think that's pretty fun. So, and that's the is the advantage obviously of early access games is that it allows you to have that sort of you know engagement early on to see, you know, well, is this even worth me pursuing? But usually by the time that it's on Steam, it's a little bit too late. <clears throat> Anyways, um, next game on the list is Space Engineers. The the amazing, this is a ways away, let's, um, let's get the speed up here. Um, there may even be a couple of planets that's over here. Let's just do one of these. Um, I'm betting. Yeah, I'm betting. Okay. Um, Space Engineer is fantastic. Again, it's like I said, it's, it's resource gathering, base building, um, fight your friends, uh, derp around in the space. It's, it's fantastic. Uh, recently went from a limited world to, or limited universe to a, a much, much larger, um, uh, infinitely generated kind of a thing and um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for uh, procedurally generated is the term and uh, it's it's gonna be great they're going to be bringing in some uh, planetoids and things like that like proper f it's so much fun it's gonna be so great once that that game gets closer to being finished um, 
it's so much fun right now. You can you can spend hours and hours. It's not it doesn't have the most sort of engagement, we'll say. Um, sort of like Minecraft where it doesn't really have an end game. Like even Minecraft has a quote unquote end game. It's sort of like a fool's end game. Um, as it not like an idiot, but I mean like like fool's gold. Like it's just it's sort of there, but it's not really a thing. Um, and uh, so Minecraft has that uh, stranded or not stranded. Uh, Space engineers doesn't really. Um, it's just more. It's just the resource gathering, base building, derp around with your friends, but you're in space, so you're zero gravity and. It, all kinds of things just pop around for that. You've got asteroid things that randomly attack, that randomly shower down on you, and there were um, <clears throat> uh, randomly generated spacecraft, well not randomly generated, randomly input spacecraft that kind of fly around. You can go and, you know, attack and d try to pirate and things like that. D there's no AI yet, so it's not, I mean, it's not like they're going to be coming and attacking your base or anything, but they're sort of there, and... Did I not actually select that? Uh, what's going on? What are we actually scanning? Okay. Oh, okay. Trippy. Don't know what that was all about. Let's go to the next, uh, next location, please. Um, how are we doing on fuel? We're getting close to half a tank. Okay. Uh, but it's pretty fun. Definitely check that one out. Of all the games that we've mentioned, that's definitely one that you def definitely need to check out with Kerbal Space Program. Um, it's super, super muy bueno. Um, next one is Stranded Deep. Again, another one you've seen on this channel. Um, this is a great game. Again, very early. Very early. This has only been out a few months now. Oh, water. But, uh, ooh, um, again, another, well, you, you'll see the repetitive theme here. This is a survival game. Uh, this one here is a little bit different. This is sort of Castaway. Uh, so you're on an island, just you and a bunch of asshole sharks. Um, on an island, there's a bunch of islands around. You can go, you build up a base, you go get sticks and try to find food and water and all the fun things of your life and uh yeah it's just pretty it's a pretty good time just going out and exploring it's a little bit limited at the moment because there's only so many things in the game so many objects uh but once that the number of things come up and the uh building gets a little bit more in depth uh i think that the game will really kind of fly like i think we did i don't know seven or eight episodes of stranded deep and we kind of we didn't see everything, but we kind of worked most of the breadth of the game away. Um, so, we'll have to see. We'll have to see what we want to do with it in the future. Once something, once something more comes around with it, we'll probably find ourselves... Oh, we're, we've uh, got to our last stop here. We need to continue on. Um, I really need to start finding a better way. Wow, I don't need to zoom out very far at all anymore. Um, Alright, let's go where? Probably over this way. We're never going to get that far, but let's just start heading that way. And we're getting into hips, so that should be a little bit better, I think, for finding like an actual star, hopefully. Um, oops, wrong button. But yeah, yeah. Uh, great fun. Uh, definitely check it out. Definitely. Um, and then once it, yeah, once some more stuff comes into that game, um, it's, I'm, I'm excited for it. With the quality of the stuff that they put in there already, um, it's, it's gonna be fantastic. Uh, next uh, one we'll just talk very quickly about, because we're running short on time, is, uh, Tabletop Simulator. It's actually... It's perfect, is what it is. It's perfect. It's exactly what it says on the box. It is a it's a table on which people um, can create games, um, like board games, that you can play with your friends online. Um, 
it's amazing. Uh, they've got some built-in ones, like, you know, random ones like chess and stuff like that, but I've also seen, like, um, D&D games that get done on there, and, <clears throat> like, custom games where people are just making up their own games and putting them on. It's great. Um, it's got just the right amount of derp where it just adds a little bit to the humor of everything. It's fantastic. Uh, if you like board games, definitely check this one out. Um, yeah, it, it doesn't like it's got like I said, loads of community content, so you can like you can grab your friends, your wife, your boyfriend, your pet raccoon, and play more games. Get it's a it's a it's from tabletop. Will Wheaton does it with tabletop? No. All right, watch tabletop. It's good. Um, <laughs> and one last one, just before we leave, and we call it a day. From a local boy, is Unturned. So this is a survival game. This is Daisy, only as if it were drawn by a five-year-old. It is really fun. Um, it's got the derpiest little characters. The zombies are wow, really derpy looking. Why did I do that? Um, it just looks horrible, and I know that that turns people off of it. It turned Pat off of it. He hasn't tried it yet because it looks so bad. But honestly, it just adds to it so much. Um, the gameplay is actually really solid, and um, like the hit mechanics are actually pretty good. Like it's amazing. It's a, it was created by like a 14 year old boy or kid or something like that from Canada here, uh, which is why I said local boy. I have no idea where in Canada. Canada is big, so it's not that local. Probably not that local. But um, yeah, it's created by so like by by this young guy, and it's fucking amazing. Um, Honestly, all the, like so much of the functionality and stuff that you want, Daisy is in this, and all it did was take the art style and like turn it all the way down, and it just, again, like I said, the art style turns people off because they look at it and they go, okay, this is like a crap game, but it's the same thing that you know, fuck, even I did with Minecraft, where you look at it and go, okay, that looks like shit, I'm not playing that, and then you play it and it's fucking amazing. That's what Unturned is. It's not, it's not as good. It's not as like playable like for years on end maybe as minecraft but it is playable it's very very fun um i think it's still being um, added to regularly i don't actually know um specifically and it's been a long time since i played it too so i there could be some some things that have gone on that i'm not aware of uh but from the last builds i was playing it, it it's just really great fun the cartoon thing adds to it so much definitely worth checking out all of these games on the list will be are worth checking out. I've put links um, in uh, the video description for all the games I talked about today. I've t put links in all the video in the video description of all the games I talked about in the last video. D honestly, you can't go wrong checking out any of these games. Um, I uh, yeah. Oh, well, let's um. Can we untarget something? There we go. And we'll just keep on slowing down there. Um. There we go. <clears throat> um, like I said, you'll, you'll, you'll notice that there is a pretty big similarity between many of my games. They're all survival games or crafty buildy games, but those are sort of the... When I'm looking for an early access game, it's kind of the early access games I like to play because they're constantly being added to. It's like I'm constantly looking for that thing to fill that void of the old beta days of Minecraft, and that's what early access crafting survival games do for me. So that's why I play them. Yes, rant over. Next uh, time we'll be talking about some other cool things. Something I meant to mention but didn't get a chance to is that there have been some winners announced for that Elite Rank Contest that uh, the developers of Elite Dangerous were doing. Um, so we'll be talking about that a little bit next time. And uh, until then, yeah. Ciao, I love you. Good night.